welcome to my channel. My name is Eve. This is Everyday Artist and welcome. And this is Roque. Say hi, Roque. No? <laughs> She's been barking all day. I don't know what at. <laughs> um, <laughs> who knows? It doesn't matter. Uh, it is the day after Mother's Day. I hope you had a great Mother's Day. Mine was quiet and we just relaxed here at home and, and uh, you know, after church. <laughs> at church they had uh, cake afterward and I was like, I want cake. <laughs> but it was one of those things where I had things to do at home and so I just woofed it down and left. I didn't really sit and talk with, uh, with others and, you know, a few ladies that I was uh, talking to, I enjoyed, and you know, it, it, the, um, the day yesterday was absolutely beautiful. Um, the weather was just gorgeous, and I kind of wanted to barbecue in the back, but, you know, <laughs> it's so much work. <laughs> And, you know, my son, he likes to barbecue once in a while, but he was busy with some stuff, so I was like, eh, never mind, we'll just, we'll just pick up something. So, I hope your Mother's Day was great. Um, mine was busy, because last weekend was Whip Go Weekend. Not last weekend, Saturday and Sunday of this past week. And so I kind of participated in that a little bit uh, and I'll show you that uh, in a minute. I have two finishes. Some whips and a tiny bit of haul. So uh, my first finish is uh, Happy Hanukkah, Erica Michaels, which I am doing as a birthday present for my brother-in-law whose birthday is very soon and uh, and yes Rachel I, I know I saw him finish your birthday present so sorry um, here it is happy Hanukkah I just need to put the buttons on it it has just a few little buttons um, there is a button there, and there's one here, and it comes with a couple others, I think, uh, that they, you know, like this right here, dangling off, and it comes with the, the little thing to put it, to put, hook it on there with, um, but I haven't put those on yet, and I've decided that I should probably finish this as a flat fold and I've got to find some fabrics and stuff to do that with but there it is and <coughs> excuse me I like it so much that I want to do the berry to perhaps done be done by Hanukkah this year my uh, second finish is uh, a whip that I found in one of my bags when I was trying to organize my projects. I was trying to organize my projects so that um, I could kit up some other things and have them, you know, separate from ongoing whips, including Botanical Bee, which I will talk to you about in a minute. Um, so I finished these a year or two years ago. Um, I mean, I FFO'd them, you know, about a year or two years ago, and I started them about May of 21, I think. Excuse me. <coughs> and one of these, I'm not sure which one, has a free pattern that goes with it. There's no photo of that pattern. It's just the pattern. 
once I finish this, and it had every, it was all done except half of the white and all of the red. Uh, sorry about that, I'm having a coughing fit for some reason. Before I show you my other whips and talk about Whip Go Weekend, uh, I decided to, I didn't grab the, the pictures, but here's the picture of the uh, Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts 2023 temperature cell. And that's what I was working on during Whip Go Weekend. And I didn't finish it, but I did get some work done. I was doing things, so I didn't get very far on this. And then I had something else I wanted to work on for a minute, and that was a disaster. So I decided over here in the area to put Awatuki instead of Phoenix, because that's the part of Phoenix I live in. And, and so I started on the flowers down here. That makes me very happy. And then... Here's the picture of my uh, Stitch and Mommy temperature turts. And this is where we are right now. It looks like the entire month so far has been the same temperature. There's subtle changes, but basically the same temperature. And it's been 89 to 93 the last week. When I say it was beautiful out yesterday, I mean it. It was gorgeous. So, there we are. I have not done his back yet with the long stitches, but I'll get around to it. And I, because I was doing something, I don't remember what, I didn't start on the fins. But, um, the temperature cell I did last year, all of the heavy stitching, like the flowers, that's being done. That's done after the whole year is over. Before that, it was just the border, right? And this one, all of these extra stuff has to be done right away, and each one is different, so I have to really pay attention. And um, I'm really liking the way they come out, but sometimes it's like. Oh no, I have more fins to do. <laughs> because when I'm doing the fins is when I notice that I didn't do the inside part of the turtle right. And so I should do them as soon as possible. <laughs> so. uh, and then I did a tiny bit more on... I almost left off one. Uh, a tiny bit more on Corgi and Snow. Uh, cute patterns by Maria. Maria Bravko. You can find her on Facebook and on Etsy. The, this is a free pattern, which you would find on Facebook. And, oh, I didn't really show you that. Just the picture, huh? Uh, I put, put in more white. I have no idea how I'm going to finish this. Um, with Lemon Cat, while I was stitching it, I was like, oh, you know, I could put it on a lemon. That's another free pattern by Maria Bravko, which I did about a year ago. And I started getting stuff to put it on. I have no idea. No idea. And usually, I, when I get a pattern, I start thinking ahead as to how I want to finish that pattern. Um, I don't usually use what the finishing is on the on the um, on the pattern. So I don't know what I'm going to do on this one, <laughs> and it doesn't matter because it, you know it's not. Um, I'm not in a huge hurry to finish it. Um, I'm just, uh, 
I just like it. I want to work on it. I have a lot of whips, though. I need to stop buying patterns. I need to stop doing new starts. Hmm. Maybe next year. <laughs> okay. So I also did a little bit of work on Sweet Wing Studio Far Better Things. And when I said a, say a little bit of work, I do mean a little bit. So I started working on the lighthouse. And like I said, I'm trying to get it done like all in this area and go down and then, you know, go this way. I don't want to just like work on this one brown thing and have then have to go back and put all this other stuff. I just feel like just doing it in little sections. So. Yeah. And again, there's no finishing time for this. Now this one, um, I don't know that I'm going to finish it like this, but I do think I want to finish it in some way that's going to um, stand up. So, I'm not sure. And this isn't really a Christmas pattern. It's more of an all year round pattern, even though it's snowing in the picture. So, that also dictates how you're going to finish something, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm pleased with the way it looks on this fabric. Um, this is 32 count Lugana. Uh, in stormy clouds, I think. I think it looks good, doesn't it? I haven't told you any of the other fabrics because I forget about doing that. The only one I really know is America, Erica Michaels. Uh, that's 32 count white Lucana. So, I think it's called white. I don't know. I don't put anything in the project bag or on the fabric of what that fabric is. I keep all of the packaging from the fabric so that I can, so that I know, but then I forget what it is. And a lot of it, I, I, it's just like Ada that I've dyed myself or something like that. So. My last whip is Little Biscuit, and I wish I could tell you whose design this is. It says this up on top, but that's, I don't think that's a designer. And when you look at the, at the, YouTube videos. I think it says it's a Trilu world. Something like that. So, I don't know. But, I had a lot of problems with this dude. Okay, here's the face. Was I this far last week? Um, and I know the ears are different sizes. And I know one is puffier than the other. I have no idea why. And so here is the body so far. And I realized that some of it didn't seem right. So I went back and was working on that a little bit. I, like, I don't think it's supposed to come out over here. I don't know what's going on there. Um, and I 
needed to take out some of it to try to get the white to look right. And it, it, I know it's doing this, but that's because it's going to get stuffed and look different. Um, I hope that's why it's doing that. See how this is twisting like this? I went to try to undo it. And I would say I tried to undo this at about 9 o'clock. I finally gave up and went to bed about 1. Because this turned into these giant knots. <laughs> and I am generally very, very, very good at untangling knots. But I have to be very careful with this yarn because A, it sticks to itself. So that's part of the reason why this happened. And it didn't happen with the last dog I did. Um, and because it breaks so easily, I don't want to pull too hard. I don't want to, if it tightens up, it crushes the, the chenille. So I don't want to do that either. So I'm like, ah, I have to take this apart. It was making me crazy. So at about one o'clock, I said, I'm done with you for right now. And like I said, I hope his little body is correct. I think it is, but who knows? Um, when I say I think I hope it's correct, I know it's 60 stitches and it's supposed to be 60 stitches, but it tends to be, it's looking very bowl-like. And you can't tell from this picture what the body looks like. Um, but I don't know why it's doing that. So there is that. And then the tiny bit of haul, um, I saw on um, Stitching with the Housewives a white flower that she had finished a round thing on. And I thought, you know, that botanical bee would look good on that, maybe. And I wanted to go look for it at Hobby Lobby. But I was having trouble um, breathing all last week. Um, you can tell my throat is still scratchy. I am not sick. It is, uh, they're a high allergen count right now because um, everything's growing and the Palo Verde trees are blooming and <clears throat> yeah. So I couldn't find it and then I found this. And I'm like, you know, I can paint that any way I want. Now, this is too small, this circle. But this part is not. And I think that I'll like this better. I did see some metal uh, flowers, like the one I did uh, the little bee pattern on. Um, but I was afraid that they'd be the wrong color and I didn't want to get exactly the same as what I got before with another pattern. So I couldn't find that white one at all. I found out later that it was because I was looking in the wrong area um, because I looked on the, on the video and I, she said what area it was. I was like, Ugh. I didn't go over there. Because I was trying to walk as little as possible. Um, most of last week, I couldn't walk across the house, let alone a store. And um, so I was just trying to limit, limit how much I was walking. I wouldn't even got out, except I was wanting to make sure I felt good enough to go to church. So I think... I can paint this pretty awesome. Now, uh, 
Who is it that does those wooden things for, is it Paisley's and polka dots? They come taken apart so that you can paint them. Because painting in here, this is glued together. So you can't paint this without painting this. And that makes it more difficult. But I think overall, I'll be happy with it. Um, my favorite flower is a daisy. <laughs> my favorite flower is a daisy, which is probably the most simple of flowers. Just yellow center, white petals, right? I love daisies. They're, um, when I was young, we would go camping in, uh, in the mountains of New Mexico. And on the road that we took up to where we like to camp, you know, as we're heading up like this, you can look down over a valley and it would be full of daisies, just solid daisies and it was so beautiful. And I like other versions like that. I mean, it, what is it? Uh, there's a purple cone flower or something like that that are pretty. Um, but this the simple daisy, I just, I just really love them. And the reason I chuckled about that is because my favorite uh, food is grilled cheese. Can't make anything more simple than that, right? And uh, I really like plain things. And it's not that I'm picky about other things. I love stuff with everything put in it too. But uh, I tend to like the, the base stuff and the simple stuff. And I just was like, when did that happen? I remember when my dad used to say his favorite ice cream was vanilla. And I'd be like, vanilla? That's really boring. I chose vanilla cake yesterday instead of the chocolate. Yeah, I like vanilla. And then I had almost purchased some of these type of bags on Amazon. And I just said, no, that's okay. Uh, Partly because there were so many. It wasn't the cost. It was the money. No, <laughs> that's from the movie. Um, it wasn't the cost, but I saw these as I was walking around um, at Hobby Lobby in the spring shop, which is 40% off, right? And I thought, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I won't have to consolidate so much or go through so much. So that'll help me out. Anyway, that is everything today. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Uh, have a nice week. Uh, it, it's coming on into summer. Flying by. So I'll see you in a week. Thank you. Bye.